All right, one, two, three. Hey guys, it is Undying OGC here with un uh. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Let's try this again. One, two, three. Hey guys, it's Undying OGC here from Original Gaming Culture. Uh, today we have another uh, hero to talk about. It is going to be Tyrannin, the Paladin, the Divine Justice. So let's take a quick peek at our heroine today. She is a uh, paladin, which means that if you are just starting off the game, it might be worthwhile to um, get either her or Virian up in stat points uh, with your first stat cards in order to be able to uh, uh, craft the most flawless gear you can. That's only important right at the very beginning of, of the game. You need to hit those certain thresholds uh, when it comes to crafting. If you're beyond the first couple of weeks of, of a surfer, server, uh, ignore that. If you're just starting out on a server, either Tyrannin or Virian, pick one, dump your, your stat points into them. Uh, Paladins have a very evenly distributed uh, portion of stats, and if you need one really high with another one that's pretty moderate, it's pretty, pretty easy to get it on a Paladin. So with that being said, let's check out the lore for this paladin. Tyrannin receives praise and criticism in equal parts for her zealous and unquestioning eradication of the, in, of the dark. Yet in her mind, the light can do no wrong. So she's on a power trip. Um, so many things I wish I could say. If you, if you guys were friends in real life, I'd have many things about uh, this female paladin thinking that she can do no wrong. Reminds me of uh, half the people I know. So when, when we look at her, uh, when we look at her items, this is my PvP setup. Um, for a PvP setup, uh, most of the stuff in it is just in there to boost up stats. Uh, for example, this, this is not the most ideal weapon if you want to maximize her abilities. It just uh, happens to give a lot of stats that I like. It actually has a really nice balance between Might and Stamina. I am using the dragon set on her. Uh, it, it will do a little bit of healing around her to um, friendly units. Uh, that and it it has a nice um, amount of uh, status that it gives out. As you can see, even from the gear, look at how evenly distributed all that gear is. Eight might, seven magic, seven command, seven stamina. Um, it's not bad. As far as uh, her accessories, I, I am running with um, the Scarab Amulet, uh, mostly because it adds a shield, and I didn't know who else to put it on. Accessories uh, spots are uh, pretty important on other people. I don't have a super high priority on my Tyrannin unless I am fighting Lich. And I also put on a Soulfire insig uh, Insignia, Mostly because I think this drops in the void, so I got a flawless one. Um, it just adds one to Sacred Shield. Again, I like it just because it's sevens right across the boards for stats. Um, it, it, it will help. That's 28 stats right there for PvP. 14 of them I actually value. When we look at her set for um, queuing up troops, uh, you can go with the Masonic uh, Scepter because... Um, she can equip it, so always go with the scepter if, if you can equip it. Uh, everything that adds might, uh, I'm sorry, that adds command uh, to get command as high as possible. And Hand of Wisdoms, um, there are better things out there that will on average give one more command than a Hand of Wisdom. Uh, however, I've crafted hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Hands of Wisdom, so that's what I have a bunch with. Uh, that's, that's what I'm rolling with. Tyrannin has a bunch of um, other items that are worth noting uh, because depending on what you're doing with her, you will want to use different things. So th this weapon, uh, the Holy Goblet, uh, you're really not going to use much on, on, on Tyrannin. If you are going up against Undead, what I highly recommend you do is, uh, let's see here, let's see how fast we can do this. What I highly re recommend you do is make a Gladwing uh, uh, set. <clears throat> so this is the crafting version of the Paladin set, but
but it's the legendary. It's not the divine, it's the legendary. If you put the three-piece set on, uh, you'll get the effect of the, um, the, the goblet. You'll get 30% more damage to, to undead troops. And I, I'll share why that's important in, in, a, in a few minutes once we get to our skills. But I would run with, um, I would run with uh, the Gladwing set. That way, when it when it comes to um, equipping her weapon, under the the weapon, you can put on. Aha, here we go. You can put the hammer of zeal. So that that way, Tyrdin does uh, two hundred percent more damage to summon units, and also with the legendary Glidewing set that is crafted for paladins, she'll also do thirty percent more damage to undead. Uh, we'll get to uh, why that is important. Also, under accessories, she has an accessory that um, will give her plus one to her aura. Actually, let, let's see if I have one made right now. I, I may not. Nope, I, I do. All right, let, let, let's put that on. So the uh, Diamond of Divinity will also help if you are fighting Lich. Why will it help you when you fight Lynch? Well, I will walk you through that. But first, let's talk about her skills. Her first skill is uh, Judgment Seal. Judgment Seal places three Judgment Seals on the battlefield, dealing a small amount of damage uh, in the areas for seven seconds. The, the damage amount will increase uh, on the level with bonus damage to undead units. Multiple seals cannot be sacked, so you have to put them all over the place. Um, I used this when she was lower level. It, it, it doesn't... Uh, she, she has better skills out there. She definitely has better skills. Next, we have Sacred Shield. This is a great one to dump points into um, if needed, uh, or when you have extra skill cards and you have no idea what to do with them. Instead of putting them on Rufio, put them into Sacred Shield. So Sacred Shield is... Uh, when uh, Tyrion falls, she'll pass a shield onto all of uh, the other heroes uh, on your side. Um, it will give them a little bit of health, and that, that that's beneficial. Tyrion's kind of like Rufio, where she's just going to run to the front and probably die. So anything that, that will benefit keeping her alive, like the Scarab's a Amulet, um, Sacred Shield, that's all awesome. Also, when uh, when she does die, the Sacred Shield will get dispersed to all of your other heroes. Then we have Purge the Lands. Let's uh, let, let's get this up where we, we can get it higher. Uh, Purge the Lands, you can use this on Lich Strongholds. Uh, you can do this on Players or Towers. Doesn't matter. It's a very uh, effective way of, at lowering the uh, wall health for um, Lich. Lich used to be really hard to, hard to clear out because somebody could fill up their garrison with uh, 400 units of, of undead. And the amount of times that you would have to hit that, that uh, player's garrison in order to clear them out uh, of a city tile, it, it was insane. So what, what, what you can do is you can get a bunch of people all to run over and do purge the lands onto a stronghold get their walls super low, and then hit them, run a solid front line, and in the back run all siege with the turtle, and then just knock, knock them down, send them back to the capital, and then uh, talk trash in world chat. Uh, whatever flows your boat. Uh, probably go to world chat, though. Uh, de definitely recommend that if you want some entertainment, that's for sure. Make sure you have thick skin. Uh, it's important to note that um, it reduces the current wall health by a set percentage. So you would want to use this um, not to the tail end, but at the beginning. So when, if, a, if a, a wall has 7 million health and you take off 16%, it takes off 16% from 7 million. If a uh, wall has uh, 7,000 health, it's only going to take 16% off of that 7,000, whatever the wall's current health is. Next, we have Divine Light. Um, I, I love Divine Light. It uh, automatically, so you don't have to do anything, which is part of the reason why I love it, because there's so many active skills in this game. Uh, if you have uh, fat fingers like, like I do, like look at the size of that thumb. Oh my gosh. I go to hit one skill, and next thing I know, I'm doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, 
this is great because it, it automatically sh tiered in just cast it on on heroes on your on your side it will heal them for a, a pretty good amount her magic stat will increase the the healing efficiency definitely worthwhile then we have her aura this is the um this is the reason why tiered is so great against lich um it deals 65 damage per second to enemy units uh with bonus damage to undead um, also increase uh, blah blah blah. It, it, it does damage to, to undead. It's huge. Both command and magic increases uh, the, the damage with it. Um, it. It adds up. Her uh, her armor set, the legendary Glidewing um, crafted paladin set that increases damage to undead by 30%. That affects this as well. So not only will you get the bonus damage from this, you'll get the bonus damage from the set. Next thing you know, you're doing all sorts of damage to, to Undead. And although she won't wipe one specific unit, um, her damage at the end of the battle, if she stays alive long enough, will actually be rather high. And the damage is just dispersed out uh, evenly across everybody. Um, it's important to note it does not affect buildings and it does not affect mechs. Also, with that, uh, with the weapon I showed you that increases damage to summon units by 200%, that also gets affected in this aura. So, say you're fighting Lich and they're, they're using um, uh, spiders. Those spiderlings are now going to take additional damage by 200% from this aura. Again, it might not just straight up kill those mini spiders that, that are coming out, but it's going to uh, deal uh, damage and the, that damage is going to uh, add up over time and it's going to make it easier for all of your other troops to clear them out. Her last uh, skill is Sacrifice. She sacrifices half of her current health, uh, summon a massive sword that smashes into the ground, dealing a bunch of damage to enemy units and putting weakening armor onto them. That way, those units t uh, take extra damage from everything around her. Um, it's it's useful, it's usable, um, but uh, th there's there's better things that that you can do do with her. So let, let's go check this out real quick. Uh, let's see how Tiradin plays out. I don't have any um, I don't have any immediate skeletons nearby, but we got these guys. These guys have uh, almost three thousand HP. Uh, Tiradin's aura right now is doing 65 damage per second. Um, however, her command and magic increases uh, that damage. So let's see. Uh, let's see how Tiradin's aura works with this. Well, uh, I'm under so much pressure. I can never, never find my heroes. All right, here we go. So Tiradin runs out. As you can see, they're all getting hit. All of their health goes down and they all run away and tiered in before she even gets uh, scathed once kills them all off go under damage I, again because she hits everything in the battlefield uh, for uh, even if it's a small amount of damage it adds up all right so I want to show you guys one other interesting thing with um, with Tiradin. I want to see if we can manage to get her heal off. Um, th this should actually be pretty interesting. Let's go with uh, Mako and Tiradin. And let's put Mako right up there. Uh, actually, Mako's just going to kill them all. Um, i trying to think of somebody tanky. Aha! If we need a tank, we'll just go with Bane. So man's going to run out there, and uh, everybody's going to swarm around him. They're going to try and damage Bane, but um, good luck damaging Bane. So as this is all going on, Tyrion's going to stand there, and Tyrion's going to to heal Bane. So pretty much, uh, Bane is never going to die. Uh, he probably isn't going to be super successful in killing everything, but. Should he take in any damage, Tyrion will just heal him up. We don't have to do anything. It just automatically happens. So that that is everything that that we need to know when when it comes to um when it comes to Tyr uh, Tyrion.
she's a very good hero. She specializes in, in fighting against Lich. So if you are on a server that has a lot of Lich players on it, especially if they're using uh, skeletons, or say you want to siege Lich and there's a lot of skeletons, it's worthwhile to um, level her up, get some points into her aura, her sacred shield, um, and her, her healing ability. She is a all-around uh, uh, paladin. And uh, finally, the best way I can describe the uh, her aura is it reminds me from Diablo 2, the world's greatest game ever, uh, in my humble opinion. Uh, that would be up there with um, Super Smash Bros. for N64, GoldenEye, uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, um, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, so Diablo 2 is in that category. Uh, for for me, it, it's, a, it's a it's a classic game. Again, we are original gaming culture. We love the the classic feels. So when it comes to Diablo 2, Tyrion reminds me of a uh, paladin with um, the shock aura, where the paladin just runs around in every room and it just emits this pulse and everything dies. Tyrion does the same thing. Usually everything doesn't just die. She just adds on a bunch of damage. Uh, so. Please uh, smash the, the like button, subscribe to the, the, the channel to so, show some uh, support. Um, if, you, if you like this, if you like what, what we're all about, uh, stay tuned. We, we have some big things coming for you guys. Uh, tomorrow we will be covering everything we need to know about Gazool. So have a great day and stay safe.